Are you interested in a thrilling adventure? Full of role playing and relationship building. How about some tactical turn based combat? Then I've got just what you're looking for. It's the Fire Emblem series of games. In the Fire Emblem Engage game, there are over 30 characters to meet, befriend, and battle alongside. You'll find that everyone here has their own unique personality and backstory. From sword fighters and cavalry units to armored units and magic users, there are plenty to choose from, and it's no easy decision selecting who you'd like to grow alongside. With care and consideration, even the weakest ally can grow into a reliable powerhouse. Oh, I am so proud of her. It's up to you to help your allies grow, so change up their equipment to best suit them and build the army that marches to the beat of your drum. That's what the Fire Emblem series is all about. The real action in Fire Emblem begins on the battlefield. Start by selecting your team. Choose who you want to move, pick their opponent, then grab a weapon to unleash an attack. Once all of your allies have acted, it's the enemy's turn. You'll take turns back and forth throughout the battle. But once you achieve your goal, such as defeating the enemy commander, victory will be yours. There are so many different types of units you can bring into battle. Cavalry units have a wide range of movement. Armored units have high defense. Archers and magic users can attack from a distance. And Pegasus Knights can fly over different terrain. Even water. They all bring their own advantages to combat as well. Now, it can be tempting to only send out your favorites, but you might want to consider a more balanced team when the battle calls for it. For example, Armored units are resistant to physical attacks, but weak to magic. Flying units, such as Pegasus Knights, easily fall to bows. Axe wielders are ineffective against swords, lances are weak against axes, and so on. You get the idea. Be careful when moving your units around the map, or they might find themselves at a disadvantage. Of course, that means you'll have the upper hand if you plan around your enemy's weaknesses. I know, I know, it's all a bit much, but there are plenty of features to help first-timers figure it out. Like this. You can choose to have a red line appear when you're in range of a foe's attack. That means you probably shouldn't send your units there. You can also check the super useful battle forecast before you commit to an attack. This shows how much HP will be lost, who attacks first, and you can see which weapon will be most effective. Even with all that help, if you make a move that ends up being not so good, you can sometimes turn back time and take that one again. It's bad news for your foes, but good news for your beloved allies. By participating in battles, your units can earn experience points and level up. They'll earn even more experience when they defeat an enemy. So I recommend using a powerful ally to weaken your foes, then let whoever you're trying to level up deliver that final blow. Thanks for the business. There are also ways to strengthen your allies, like equipping them with powerful weapons to raise their attack stat, training with them in the arena, or by using certain items. Oh, 
Look at that! A skirmish appeared on the map. You can choose to fight these random battles as many times as you want to gain experience, no matter what else is happening in the game's story. Looking for even more from your units? Try changing their class. Their starting classes are predetermined, but you can use specific items to reclass them in a way that better suits your army. If a unit's class changes, their fighting style will change along with it. And if they reach level 10 or higher, your units can be promoted to an advanced class. Advanced classes allow them to wield more powerful weapons. And they'll get a boost to their stats. Plus, they'll get to change up their style. Who doesn't love a makeover? Looking good, team! Promote your units to stronger classes. Help them grow to fit your fighting style. And form the most powerful army your own way. If your allies fight side by side, or heal each other in battle, they'll grow closer. And you might even get to see them share a support conversation. These special events can sometimes reveal more about their backstories. The closer they grow, the more your allies will share. You'll get to know them better, and they might get to know each other better as well. Close allies are also useful on the battlefield. If two allies who share a connection are next to each other, they can help each other out in battle. It's important to remember, the army that slays together stays together. You need food. So, how do you feel? I think you're ready to make some friends and fall in love with the world of Fire Emblem. Are you going to focus on a few favorites? Or are you a balanced tactician who appreciates all your allies equally? Thank you, Marin. What classes will you assign? And what style of combat will you focus on? It's all up to you. The decisions are yours to make. And the relationships are yours to foster in Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem Engage. Available January 20th only on Nintendo Switch. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop.